Uh, but this was a big jolt because it was so unexpected. Where we stand is actually nowhere definitive. Al Etifak, they expect Jordan Henderson to say yes, but I've got no concrete confirmation that his decision in the affirmative has been made. Now, there's still no approach to Liverpool. There's been no discussion of a potential transfer fee or anything like that, but the club would expect double the £10 million that was reported earlier today. Uh, just because of Henderson's status as the club captain, he's an England international, he's in supreme physical condition, obviously has a wealth of experience, the leadership qualities he brings. And what they'll be doing is using Saudi Arabian interest in Riyad Mahrez, whose valuation is around £30 million, to ascertain you know how much they should be asking for Henderson so they won't ask for as much because they know Mares is a better player more talented player attacking players usually come at a premium but in terms of age and contract length that's remaining on their existing deals there's a lot for Liverpool to work off there so you're looking at around 20 million pounds for Jordan Henderson but still no concrete confirmation that his decision has been made and importantly, no approach yet to Liverpool for him. Uh, we know that Steven Gerrard, Melissa, is the manager at El Etifak. Uh, just wonder how much of a driving factor he is in the deal given he's a, a former teammate of Henderson. He's colossal to Henderson actually deciding or considering this move to Saudi Arabia. There's been a lot spoken about the money involved, you know, potentially more than trebling his current salary. But the allure will be that reunion with Steven Gerrard, who would have appealed to Henderson's desire to play regularly, would have appealed to Henderson's ambition, saying, you know, come over here, build something great with me, help me hit the heights I want to achieve, help me restore my coaching career. I was also told that there might be an element there of Gerard saying you'd be a player, but you could also slowly learn how to coach and manage alongside me. So I think there's that. Gerard would have obviously spoken to him about all the noise that he would have expected and that is currently emanating around this potential move, how to quell it, how he can still, uh, you know, sustain his legacy and how people have short memories, things like that. Henderson has been so influenced and inspired by Gerard, so it's no shock really that the person who has been able to sway him uh, and who we think has got him over the line to saying yes to this move is Gerard. The other thing to uh, to note is when the story first emerged about. Saudi Arabian interest in Jordan Henderson, I was told actually, stay away from it, it's not true, can't be anything in it, that the player who was actually attracting interest from Saudi Arabia was Thiago. And it wasn't even that, it was because I felt that nothing significant could come of it. Surely Jordan Henderson would not consider going to Saudi Arabia. Melissa, you spoke about the, the noise that's been surrounding this. Can you understand the kind of criticism that this news has been met with? Of course I can, because this is not just, you know, a normal football transfer. No matter how many people want to try and frame it that way, this is not just about money on offer. And I keep seeing the phrase life-changing money. It's not because Henderson's already a multimillionaire. He just would be wealthier if he accepts this deal. But it would be legacy-changing because Jordan Henderson has been a beacon for so many good causes. He has been an ally for so many disenfranchised communities. He has advocated so strongly and so consistently for human rights at every avenue, the initiatives he has sparked uh, at club level and at international level has all given us, you know, semblance of hope in football that, especially at times when we feel like we're losing the essence of the game, which is that community spirit, which is that togetherness. He's stood up for that and cop-outs Liverpool's LGBT plus group 
you know, they've said they're appalled, they're concerned by Henderson even considering going to Saudi Arabia. They've also come out and criticized Steven Gerrard for taking on a manager role there. And Jordan Henderson, it was in 2021 when he was, you know, nominated as a football ally for the LGTB plus community. So there's lots of people who will be looking at this and feeling like this guy that stood up for them, who has written in his program notes before about not having people feel alienated, about, you know, all of us needing to be equal, equal opportunities, have the same set of rights, the same set of opportunities, and yet he's deciding to go to a place or potentially deciding to go to a place that has all these human rights abuses.